Hello, this is your friend and nurse and health coach, and I've come to you with cons of black seed, the con of it. Black seed oil, as we say, will help just about every sickness there is. But you can't overdose. Not over one to two capsules a day. Not over one teaspoon a day. And I don't take over two drops a day. Just like a lot of herbs, you got to watch your bleeding condition. If you got any kind of bleeding condition, uh, kind of autoimmune system, you notify your doctor first before you take black seed oil. Always notify your doctor first. Doctor, can I take a little this right here with my medication? And also, if you're pregnant, a lactating, breastfeeding, a child, they do not advise black seed oil to be taken. So, but if you take it, do the half of the dose that you would take. So if it's one to two tablets a day, you don't get them by half a tablet. To see how their body is taking it. But I would still consult your doctor first. It's not toxic itself, but if you overdo anything, it can hurt your body. So you go over the doses a day that I say it. You can cause some bleeding problems or some kind of problem in your body. Everything is all about discipline. You say, well, I've been doing this and I've been eating my vegetables. I've been doing this, doing this. It's such a thing as overdoing. And I have to catch myself up doing it at times. <laughs> also, um, a con of black seed is an allergic reaction. Do not put it on the skin, as I say before, not on the real skin. You can put it into an open wound, but not in on top of your skin. You might get it fluid filled pulses on your skin. And you wonder what happened. Because you put the black seed oil. I never tried and saw what would happen if I put it on my skin. Because I didn't want to see. If they say don't do it, don't do it. So, and certain herbs don't inter react with medications. Most medicines, black sea oil will. That's the difference in black sea oil. It will act with most medications. But if you're on a pharmaceutical medication, again, always consult your doctor first because some of the medication that they will not interact we have some interaction with is nicin if you want nicin uh, if you want a, a, a any kind of bleeding medication yes uh, black tea oil may interact you might have some kind of reaction from it nausea bumping and diarrhea uh, problem from it uh, netta, netta, which is a very potent uh, herb. They usually don't take with netta, because netta does about the same thing black sea oil does, so you don't want to overdo anything. Also, um, you don't want to take um, black sea oil with iron pills, because when you take it with iron pills, it enter act with iron pills because the blood condition. Remember, it makes you bleed when you overdo it. So iron pills is to build up your blood. So you can run into a problem if you're on iron pills. While you're on the iron pills, do not take the black sea oil. Wait till you finish the iron pills and then take some black sea oil. I ran into that and then I start researching and I find out, oh, I can't take my black seed drops with my iron pills, so I had to stop. I was wondering what was happening. I started itching. I started itching, and 
that I start seeing these little black spots on my skin, which I told you was a sign of you may be bleeding internal on your skin cell. When you see these little black little specks on your skin. So I had to stop taking the black sea oil and continue taking my iron pills. And then the black spots disappeared on my skin. So you can't take the iron pills with the black seed. Just wait till you finish the black seed and then you can start back taking your, your finish the iron pills, then you take the black seeds. Uh, it will cause bloating, nausea, diarrhea, as I say. When you're over, uh, do it. Take too much. You might start having to nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea. And sometimes that can lead to some internal problem going on. So, black sea oil, uh, you, you have to consult your doctor when you're taking, taking medication now. So, it's, called, it's causing toxicity in your body, which is poison in your body. When you take over two tablets a day, over a teaspoon a day, and I would say over two drops a day. So... You don't want to overdose. There's such things as overdose on anything. You overindulge in it, it's going to cause some damage in your body. And that's most people's problem. They don't know when to stop eating or to stop taking medication. They, they see what helps. So they start taking more, trying to rush the process. Everybody want to microwave uh, situation going on in their life. And sometimes the microwave situation will get you in bigger problems than you already have. So you don't want to create a bigger problem than you already have got going on. So, as I say, that bleeding wrist, it don't normally cause you to bleed a lot. But when you take overdose and that over that two grams a day or over them two capsules a day, over that teaspoon a day, and just keep taking it because you're seeing it help, you you piling up on taking it. Discipline. Discipline yourself in taking anything. So it's not many cons in black sea oil. That's a good thing about black sea oil. And that's why I stick to black sea oil because there's not a lot of cons to black sea oil until you get to try overdose and taking over the dose that should be taken. Are uh, you mixing it with uh, medication that you shouldn't be messing with? Or uh, taking away iron pills, as I say earlier, you can't take the two together. Black Sea, Black Sea oil have been around over 2,000 years and people have been taking it. All in the Middle East over there, North Africa, Europe. But they discovered it over here in the United States and they brought it over here. So it's helping a lot of people with their illness in the body. It helps every sickness in the body. Because it got all those anti-fungus, anti-microorganisms, uh, uh, anti, uh, uh, and the energies, antioxidant, and anti-inflammation, uh, wound healing. It's got all the wake up the central nervous system, calms the serious central nervous system down. So it's got all these affected. Things that it does to your body. And not many cons at all. So we love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to come with many more herbs and different things that can you can do for your body. Naturally. 
I love to deal with the natural part of it because people is not a, a, can afford the medication today that has been put out there. So, we love you. Have a good day.